everybody, Prudence here with VigilPrudence.com. Today I'm going to talk about another MRE that's been in my my car or my truck uh, for my get home bag or my stay in place bag or my emergency bag. And that is the Meatballs Marinara Sauce. Now, this MRE is not near as thick as other MRE bags that I've dealt with. Um, so let's see what's in there. The reason that I'm deciding to cycle through these, ooh, that guy's tough, is it's been, like I said, it's been sitting in my car for three years. I rotate it from the car to the truck. And I think it's time I start rotating through my MREs. I don't, uh, MREs are literally just kind of like an emergency stopgap for me. Um, I only have like a couple of cases. This comes with a wheat bread snack and another wheat snack bread. Well, that's interesting. There's two wheat snack breads in there. Huh. Anyway, um, I use the MRE little spoon, which I'll save actually for another time. I use the MRE um, flameless ration heater. Again, I'll use that as another time. Simple little accessory pack. Again, kind of yellowed like the, the other one was that I just did. We'll open that in a second. Beverage bag. Won't be using that. Um, I don't use them for food storage necessarily, but more food emergencies. Here's a cheese spread package. I'm going to knead that up a bit. And uh, tropical fruit punch. Ah. That seems kind of hard. I'll still try it out, but that seems kind of hard. That might have kind of gone gone funny on us. Some roasted dry nuts, which are incredibly well vacuum sealed. Nacho cheese pretzels. I bet you they're basically combos. And a very crushed box of the entree, which is the meatballs, the marinara. Let's just see how crushed that box is. This should be okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. I do feel little meatballs in there. So I am going to go ahead and uh, heat this up on the stove. And as soon as uh, uh, that gets done, I'm going to boil it in water. I'll be back. So I want to share with you the ingredients here. And I'm hoping my lighting is good. We've got a terrible storm blowing in, and uh, my lighting here in the room might be a little dark, but this is going to be a good test for this camera. This camera is the uh, Canon Vixia HF-G40. They say it's supposed to be good in low light, so here's a great test. Check out those ingredients. You can go ahead and just pause that. But I had to chuckle because besides the first ingredient being water, meatballs, mechanically separated chicken, water, beef, uh, breadcrumbs and I'll let you read the rest but I had to chuckle there mechanically separated chicken interesting very interesting one thing about MREs they make an enormous amount of trash and one thing I do is use the bag the MRE came in as my trash bag so let's go ahead and open some of these other things up while the uh, meatballs are boiling this is the cheese nacho uh, excuse me, nacho cheese pretzels. Um, and again, I don't use MREs as my food storage. I use them more as an emergency stopgap. Yeah, they're just combos. And they actually, I'm going to taste one really quick. They don't look too bad. Mm. Huh. They're fresh. They're still crunchy. Ever so slight chemical taste. These freeze-dried peanuts, or excuse me, dried roasted peanuts are in an incredibly airtight bag. Let's listen. Slight hiss. Um, like I was saying, I don't use MREs as food storage. I use them primarily as just an emergency stopgap. Try some of these nuts here. Very fresh. 
slightly salty. Sorry, talking with my mouth full. I'm not sure why this has two bread snacks. Other than the fact there isn't really a side here. So, and I do think it's kind of odd. The entree is just meatballs. I kind of like, you know, spaghetti and meatballs. Um, but maybe that's what the, the bread is. That's supposed to be your starch. So, um, yeah, I usually use them. I usually have a couple of MREs in the car. Um, and I, I, after I've rotated these in now three years, I'm going to start rotating them out a little more often. Oh, bread smells okay. I think I'll just open one of those breads for now. Um, I'm going to start rotating those out a little more often. Just because, uh, you know, I don't want them to go bad. And I'm amazed how well these have held up. The trunk of my car has gone down to freezing in the last three years. Or my truck. It either goes in the trunk of the car or the back of the truck. And my, uh, little get home stay in place emergency bag but uh yeah it, it'll go down to freezing uh, most of the time it's well up over 100 so i'm really surprised how well these have held up i might throw that cheese in the boiling water just for a bit and let's go ahead and uh let's mix up that tropical punch okay there is the inside of that tropical punch and let me tell you that is pink and oh that tastes like a me pink prescription medication that I used to take when I was a kid when I had strep throat it was this liquid pink syrupy stuff oh it was it just tasted terrible so let's hope this does not taste like it smells or I will not be able to stomach that Get some nice cold, cold, cold water in there. Today I'm using a Torx spoon. I don't know if this actually has enough fluid. I do like my drinks more on the strong side. Oh yeah, look at all of that. That just looks gooey. Um, like I said, the package for the punch was very hard. Yeah, that looks very gooey. Let's stir it. Let's give that some, some good stir. I probably should have put a little bit of warm water in there to help that dissolve some. Look at that. You see all that goo? I don't know how that's going to be at all. Should I brave it and take a quick sip before this gets dissolved all the way? Actually, I guess that's kind of dissolving down. It's not as much goo. Okay, I'm going to take a quick sip. Well, it's not great, but it certainly doesn't taste like that, like it smelled. It's, um, it's kind of fruit punchy. It's okay, but it's not great. I'm going to stir that a little bit more. We'll set that there and let it kind of settle. I think the accessory pack, there's nothing special in here. Taster's Choice, couple of gum, chiclets, which I believe are sugar-free, uh, pack of matches, sugar, little toilet paper. And a, a wet one. I, there's no need to really open that up. I really kind of wanted to see what the uh, the meatballs tasted like. So they're about done boiling. Let's see if any of this settled. Oh yeah, see that just looks nasty. Um, they're about done boiling. But let me put in the uh, let me dunk this cheese sauce in there to kind of warm that up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I dunked the cheese sauce in the boiling water just ever so briefly, less than a minute, maybe 45 seconds, just to kind of get it so it was a little on the warm side and to kind of uh, soften it up a bit. So let's just kind of give this a quick taste on the bread. Normally in these packages, the cheese sauce is the thing. Oh, yeah, I think that's gone funny. Oops, dribbled. Yeah. I think that's gone gone kind of funny. Let me taste this real quick. That's very, very oily. It looks like it's separated. 
I mean, it doesn't taste too bad. The oil part isn't great. The bread's pretty good. Cheese sauce doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't look great. Okay, so just took that off the boil. The date code on this is the 13th day of 2010. So that's January 13 of 2010. So this is pretty much a seven and a half year old MRE. And uh, it does have the notches uh, up here at the top and the side on both sides rather than the notches where you go across. I could cut it with the knife and go across, but let's go ahead and rip it with the notches and see. Oops, maybe not. Oh, that's so hot. I am going to go ahead and cut it, but I'm going to just cut it across. So there we go. Let's see how this looks. Well, it's hot, that's for sure. Smell wise, it really doesn't smell like much, to be honest with you. I'm going to stick that trash in that MRE bag, like I was saying. I use that as my trash bag. Um, can't say I'm real impressed with the smell. It smells kind of blah, plain. Um, and again, I know, like I mentioned, it's kind of dark because there's a bad storm blowing in. But uh, let's go ahead and just cut one of these open. The sauce is definitely very dark red very dark red there's what uh, there's what a meatball looks like on the inside and really I'm, I, I know this is dark but this is also kind of a test for my lighting on this camera so let's give that a taste it's very very hot um huh okay I mean it's not bad I can tell you if I was starving this would be delicious if I had even missed a couple of days a couple of meals in a day this would probably be very delicious tastes slightly better if you've ever had a can of Chef Boyardee SpaghettiOs or maybe they're Campbell's SpaghettiOs and with meatballs the meatballs are similar to that. These meatballs actually might be a little spicier than than what's in the SpaghettiO meatballs. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me taste. Let me just try some of this sauce on its own. There's just the sauce, and again, it is a very deep, deep burgundy, almost a brown color. And eh. yeah, the sauce isn't anything. To write home about. Let's try one. Let's try meatball on the bread. See how that is. Maybe the bread will help. Oops. Well, the bread helps. How about if we put some a little bit of cheese? On the bread. This cheese is very oily. Put a little cheese on the bread and then put a meatball on that. How will that taste? So there's meatball, cheese, and bread. That helps. That makes it better. Um, does it make it great? No. But I'll tell you, again, this has been sitting in my car for three years. Probably an average temperature is in, in the 90s, high 80s, 90s. Anywhere between freezing and 120, maybe 130. So, considering, I would say the MRE holds up, holds up well. Which it should. I mean, our guys deserve, and girls in the military and armed forces deserve to have as decent of a meal as possible. Obviously, they're not feeding them meals that are seven and a half, eight years old. 
So, considering this is seven and a half, eight years old, and it's not bad, um, you know, probably when this was fresh, it was it was probably okay. Let's try this fruit punch. That's okay. I mean, it's definitely real sugar, which I like. I do not like um, fake sugar or sweeteners. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of Tropical Punch, but it's not bad. It really isn't. The combos, the little cheese, nacho cheese pretzels are still very fresh. So they're good, and as well as the nuts. So, I wanted to open this up really quick. Again, this is menu 8. Meatballs and marinara sauce. Spokano, Spokak, ah, Spokako ink. I'm probably mutilating that in Mullins, South Carolina. Um, didn't have as much in it as a normal MRE or MREs I'm used to. But you know what? It would keep you alive in a pinch. Anyway, that's all I had for today. Just wanted to go over that really quick. Kind of test out the camera in a low light situation. Again, my name is Prudence. This is Prud uh, VigilPrudence.com. I'd appreciate it if you'd like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And if you could, go over and check me out on VigilPrudence.com. Until next time, bye-bye for now.